What's up, guys? Remember to always remain humble. It is something I strive to do. You know, a lot of people say I'm an egotistical, arrogant fuckhead. I, I definitely am none of the above, man. I am very humble. I just hate people that are douchebags. I am somebody where a friend could call me. For instance, today a friend called me and said, Hey, I really need help. Um, I'm not home, but my job relies on having the internet, and unfortunately last night a huge branch fell down on my internet lines, and I need help. I am somebody who will drop everything I'm doing to go assist you. So this is a quick little job I knocked out for a friend who needed help, assistance, but, but my, my point here is stay humble, man. Life is about being and remaining humble. And yes, I am growing my hair out again. I know, it's been a while. It's a little frizzy right now. I'm waiting for it to grow a little bit longer before we throw some gel in it again and start uh, cleaning up the sides and stuff. But uh, yeah, I know. It's been like three years since you guys have seen me with actual like amount of hair. Yes, I'm growing it out. It's very frizzy right now. You can see that. <laughs> but remain humble, man. I do my best. I don't have a lot in this world. I do what I can to survive. But if I have the tools and means to help somebody, Damn skippy, I will. And I, I, as a human, I would hope more of people do that. I've always had great interaction across the board in the community when it comes to people needing help. Um, but even in your daily life, uh, even, even if you caught part of your daily routine to help somebody, what's that hurting? What are you affecting? Just creating good karma for yourself. Go out and get that good karma. You know what I mean? Do things for people. It's nice. All right. Enjoy. Uh, I sped it up. I cut it down and sped it up a little bit. Have fun. This is just, you know, problematic. Was about to lose internet and job requires internet and can't afford a whole lot right now to trying to keep the head above the water. So I decided to go over there and give some assistance because calling a tree company would have been expensive. And if you got a homeboy who has a little time on their hands, remain humble. Oh boy, looks like it fell on an internet line. Holy crap, big old branch. Mm, probably, wow, that's crazy. Well, it's definitely the internet cable. So, this is crazy. I think we'll try to chop this right there. Yep, I think that's the best bet. And there we go, all chopped up. Time to hook my strap to this stuff and drag it to the front yard. Timu chainsaw right on through. Pretty good size hunk of wood. This piece too, cut right on through. Boom. 
good six inch piece of wood. All right, let me hook the truck up. Here we go. Gotta love these little GMC Sonomas, man. They are some workhorses. Big ass branch. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. All right, let me unclip here. Timu drill. Putting it in, putting in that good work today. Good job, Timu drill. <laughs> that is a hell of a little device, that little chainsaw. Out here doing some serious work is what it was doing. Chicken should almost be caramelized on the top. Yep, it is. Excellent. I'll turn those one more time. Looks like these dogs, nice low heat. They're cooking just fine. They will stay on there a little bit longer. We are going to flip this burger. Got the grill down to 350. Should almost be done. Those two are done. Nice. Sizzle up. You got it. And actually for the last minute to caramelize these, I am going to... Come on, this fucking thing. There we go. Gonna turn these over. Add a little caramelization to the back side of them so they catch some heat. And close it. And that is all she wrote, folks. Let's go.